that's exactly what has happened um, to women's self-esteem and self-confidence in the wake of one of the greatest revolutions ever, which is the second wave of feminism. And it's happened because of ideals beamed at us from the mass media. Now, let me just explain what happens historically. When women make a giant shift forward, uh, there's usually a backlash. So what's happened in the last hundred years is that the backlash has come in the form of images of beauty. Let's take one example. In 1920 in the United States, women got the vote. 1919 in Britain, around then, uh, many developed countries, women were getting the vote. The, the body shape that was ideal immediately changed that year. Skinniness came into fashion that year, introducing dieting as a preoccupation for women. Fast forward to the 1960s. In 1965, something very huge happened in women's lives. Who knows what it is? Exactly, the pill. You could control your sexual life, your reproductive life. That same year, who became the ideal of female beauty? Exactly, Twiggy. Um, so again, this, this great shrinking of the ideal body type just at the moment when women are about to get a giant uh, portion of freedom. Um, so that led to, you know, the last 30 years, women were shooting forward in all kinds of ways, in the workplace, at home, laws were changing. At the same time, a more and more developed ideal of increasingly unnatural and increasingly rigid uh, notions of beauty became more and more popular, colonizing women's minds in a whole new way. Um, so that right now, when you go anywhere in the world and you ask people to put together a composite of the ideal of beauty from popular culture, it always sounds the same. 